All right, so we're back with Sarah, and today we're going to be going through a quick workout, quick circuit, taking you through something you can do at home, in your living room, your basement, wherever you want to be. All you need is a mat, a set of dumbbells, either fives or tens. Sarah's getting a quick warm up in. Sarah's getting a couple kickbacks, get the quads nice and loose, get the arms ready, and let's start it off. Let's get 10 push ups. So our form is perfect. Hips again, just like plank, right between shoulders and heels. And be sure to breathe out on that push. Down deep. Excellent form, good. Is that 10? You got it, there you go, let's pop up. And next we're grabbing the dumbbells. Let's go bent over row. So dropping the hips, almost down to squat form, about half squat, a little more forward lean. Arms should hang right in front of these, and let's pull back 10 times. Good. Hips are low, back squeezing the blades. Always core tight and focus on the breath. Squeezing. You got it from there. You can let's set the dumbbells down for round one and step away from that. Let's go with the lunge sequence. So you step in front, forward lunge. Forward lunge, let's go lateral and lateral. Good, body tall, deep breath. And reverse and reverse. Let's go through one more time. Same thing, front, front. Again, she's looking for 90 degrees, knees and hips. It's perfect form. Long on the stride, long on the lateral lunge. That back leg is locked out. And same thing, reverse, really reach back now and stand up nice and quick. Again, 90 degrees. Boom, standing up quick, perfect. Let's take it to the mat. Let's get 30 quick crunches in. Let's go 10 basic crunches to start it off. Try to get the core active early in the session. You really want to flex as you come up for this crunch. You want to push the small of your back down into the mat. Flex and squeeze the top the same way you'd squeeze your biceps. And I'm not counting, is that 10? Yeah. 10? Let's go knees over hips. Shins are parallel to the ground. Let's get a good 10 right there. Again, these are easy. You can drop the feet a little bit and even reach the feet more towards the front wall. There you go right there. Really squeeze it out. And after that 10th rep, let's go straight to 10 quick bicycles. You got it right there. Again, staying tight in the core. Right now, Sarah's working on moderate level bicycles. Sometimes people fly through, go for speed. That's all right. You're not really getting the squeeze out of it, but right now she's working a nice little pace to it. Excellent. Let's take a break. So we go back for round two. Again, similar but different. You can take off whenever you're ready. So now still working the push-up and more core. And everything's involved here. Hips, core, legs, obviously arms, chest, shoulders. It's in great, great form. Good, real deep breath. Really drop a couple nice and deep. Press up with power. Squeeze those arms. Ten. Here we go. Let's do it again. Back to the dumbbells. The same thing. We want to mix it up. We want to keep it fresh. Still going with the bent over row, but now alternating arms. So hips are low. Back is flat, and let's get it going whenever you're ready. Up and squeeze, core tight. As always, breath throughout, core tight. And don't forget about the legs, you wanna stay contracted all throughout. Let's go one more each arm, and let's rip five together. Let's go five together now, really pull back. Blades every time. Good, real good, great definition, great form. Let's go one more time, back and squeeze, excellent. Let's keep those dumbbells. And here we go, round two of the lunge sequence. Same thing, but now we're adding a shoulder press to it. So let's step it out for lunge. Stand tall, press it up to the sky. For lunge, and press to the sky. You got it, let's go lateral, and press to the sky. Good, good form. 
And again, we're trying to recruit as much muscle fiber as possible from head to toe. So multi-joint movements with the lunge, the presses, upper body, lower body. And a deep lateral, that back leg's locked out. Notice both feet are perfectly flat. Feet are totally straight, fantastic form. And really get deep and stand these up quick now. Excellent, good job. Dumbbell is down. Let's take it to the mat for the last round of core. And we're going with three new moves, a little more advanced. We're going to start with the accordion crunch. We're just going to get a quick 10. So let's straighten out long, stretching the core. Again, deep breath throughout. You really want to breathe on this point here. Breathe out, in and out. Good job. Let's just get two more. Two, perfect. Let's rest for just three seconds. Give it a couple breaths. And let's go straight to the V-ups now. Similar to the accordion, but now the legs are locked out. And yeah, if you start to feel pressure in the small of your back, you can finish with your feet a little bit higher. Sarah, so if you could finish with feet higher one time just to show it, about 24 inches off the ground. Let's go one more time. Excellent, relax. Let's give it five good seconds. How those feel? Good. Good? Here we go, let's go with a long, slow bicycle now. So as she sets up, shoulder blades are down, legs are locked out 12 inches off the ground, and she's gonna contact knee to opposite elbow, and then back to down, and then contact, and back to down. And you wanna repeat this 10 to 20 times if you're doing this at home. Sarah's about to get going in one of the classes, Primal Fit classes, starting about 15 minutes, so she doesn't wanna get too